fantastic set. Getting started here, we have got PT versus Ken here on PS2. Smart Pros are playing those Shotos, and Ken, a character that we've seen a lot of in the meta over Ultimate's lifespan, but as of recent, definitely has fallen off in favor of Reap, Harry, Kazi, or pretty much anybody else with all their turnaround. I mean, when you think of Ken, Ken has just the ability to kill, but like you were saying, Ryu has been popping up in the meta, especially with like players like Aishimo have been doing so well lately, but I still love to see Ken. Ken, especially in New England, we have really strong players, and I'm glad to see they're still around in this region too. Absolutely, just trying to find the pressure right now. Beautiful parries on point here by Smurfos, they're making a little bit like Daigo Umahara there for a second. Trying to get around stage, finding the pressure here over platform, getting the corners if you like. And I love this movement right in that corner there by Sully using those vine lip cancels, just trying to keep it tricky and get away from this oppressive rushdown that is Ken's kind of one dimensional game plan we've got going on. Oh, I love that way bounce. Razor Leaf did such a good job. It's not going to matter. That down tilt conversion into the uppy is going to seal out that first stock for Smurf Husser. Absolutely. Right now, though, trying to get that forward air, getting things started. The fly, though, from Sully, not going to find his mark, and I love that switch just to get through those jabs, get back down, utilize the speed and combo potential of Squirtle here just to keep things going, and the water gun on the focus, right? Utilizing the fact that that move is going to armor a hit and get triggered into that counterattack, just to say, hey, I'm going to use a win box instead, right? Who needs to trigger that second hit if we never need, if, if I'm never going to hit you? And I like staying on Squirtle here. Obviously, you do risk taking a little bit more damage and a little bit more knockback, but having that mobility on Squirtle is going to do you a little bit better. But now it's switching over to the Ivysaur, probably realizing, yeah, you kind of need to get this kill somehow. And now Sir Proster is still in a good advantageous position, but the trade is going to come through and Sully is going to pick up the first stock now. Yeah, absolutely fantastic comeback from Sully here right now that you've got this Charizard online. You are at 123, just about at max rage, and honestly, the difference from Smurf Roaster hasn't even been that he's been completely out neutraling Sully, out advantage sitting him. It's just been these parries, right? It's, it's that every time Sully hits his shield, uh, Smurf has had these parries on point and has come in with the full reversal off of it, making huge use of the rushdown and the Jesus Christ, Gerd. Oh Finding that fight to close it out. I just saw Smurf poster using a lot of aerials, and when you're thinking of a lot of the FGC, you don't really see a lot of the aerials, but you kept seeing Smurf poster going in with these nares, juggling with those up airs, constantly keeping Sully at disadvantage, and just catches Sully trying to recover the ledge, going for a downer spike, and immediately sealing out game number one. Yeah, no, it was absolutely beautiful stuff there, right? Finding ways to cover what was increasingly creative movement here from Sully, and these two being the 16 and 17 teams of Bracket, right? This matchup seated to be very even. Us here at home definitely expecting to perhaps see a game of three, but gonna be a little bit of a battle for Sully to get there because you have to fight through this immaculate defense from Smurf Post, or something you don't often see out of Ken players. Yeah, and I want to see Sully be a little bit more aggressive, try to get these combos. You didn't really have the ability to just get a lot of these strings off. You were always in disadvantage from Smurf Pro, or you're getting these like tit for tat hits. It didn't really work out in Sully's favor. Absolutely, right now though, just beautiful positioning here from Sully, utilizing these platforms to the fullest advantage, saying, hey, Smurf wants to land on me with these falling aerials. I'm just not going to let him in. I'm going to fade back, right? Maintain this stage control. Oh, and also, oh push myself to the corner just a little bit, utilizing the fact that Ken always wants to run down to give myself that room to fade him back, but it's not gonna matter if you keep getting lined up for those spikes. Smurf Roaster has not missed those. The bread and butter are utter and really his X factor in this set, but that being said, this time, Sully not gonna let him get away with the lead. Yeah, the drop zone fair is gonna come out from Sully getting that awesome stock right now. And now we got Sully in the advantage state, tries to go for the grab, gets a down throw this time, goes gonna go for some up air strings, tries to go extend with that forward air, but Smurf poster answering right back. Now both players roughly even percent, 41% to 59. Now Sully's just racking up more and more damage, trying to keep Smurf, Smurf poster in disadvantage. Yeah, no, I love these back airs from Sully, just right, trying to find that active pressure, utilizing the multi hit because because of that focus, right, we've seen it come out from Smurf Roaster a few times, and so by utilizing the, that multi hit back air instead of the more traditional forward air you'd see as a poke from Squirtle, you're gonna be able to just armor your way or hit your way through that focus attack and still find the punish.
Yeah, interesting switch. Going for Charizard a little bit earlier than you think, but it doesn't even matter. The Charizard is still going to get KO'd. Smurf Coaster has been constantly getting these up air juggle strings against Sullen. It's just been working so well. Now Smurf Coaster up two stocks to one, but it's still not over for Sully just yet. We're at 140. You can still get an early kill. Forward air not going to be able to get the connecting hit for a KO just yet. Now Sully just trying to look for something something like a throw, something like a, like a back air. But Smurf Poster going for these jabs into the down tilt convergence. Nothing. Now Sully just has to come off that ledge. Yeah. That time Smurf Poster may be trying to set up for a special cancel or something, but just not able to find it. You saw him looking for that down air again, but that time Sully ready. So instead of opting just to reset to neutral, the Tatsu to get back to stage, but Charizard for it's very much going to kill you. 85%, you are stuck on Squirtle here. That's a terrifying situation. You get off this ledge, you, if you can reset back to neutral, you probably don't stay this character. You're trying to find that single hit to get a combo started, but yeah, you just want to swap to slightly heavier character, because at that point with Squirtle, even with no rage on, on Ken, that's just death if you get hit. Yeah, now Sully's got to be able to get off this ledge, with Smurf Poster having a lot of that stage position. Now Sully's back on stage. Smurf Poster, maybe like a good down tilt upbeat, just as I call it, combo into death. That is going to be a quick... 2-0 for Smurf Poster. Those double parries on the back air from Ivysaur were immaculate into a conversion, and I love to see that. Yeah, no, absolutely, right? People